Hello everybody. Um, I'm feeling pretty inspired today to uh, do a practice that's focused around ahimsa, um, which can be translated into non-harm or non-violence. So ahimsa is the first yama or ethical commandment of the eight limb practice of yoga. It lies in the very heart of our yoga practice, reminding us that our practice on the mat should be about love, not harm for ourselves. And our practice off the mat can continue that love toward ourselves and others. Ahimsa is a reminder that all actions can come from a place of love. It's a reminder that the heart of yoga is love. So we'll go ahead and find our easy seated pose that's comfortable for you. We can sit on a block or a blanket if you have one available to you. Once you're settled, we can begin closing the eyes or just have, to have a soft gaze down at the earth with the eyes partially closed. our breath, not changing it, but just noticing the rise and fall of the belly and the chest. Feeling the connection between ourselves and the earth, and then pressing into the earth through those sits bones pulling the crown of the head up towards the sky here as we resist gravity. And then sending our breath down into the belly as we inhale through the nose, let the lower ribs come out. And on our exhales, bringing the navel back in towards the spine as we release the air back into the space around us. sit here with our mindful breathing. Our reading today is by BKS Iyengar from his book Light on Yoga. To curb violence, what is most needed is freedom from fear. We'll start our practice today with a pranayama exercise. This is our equal ratio breath. So choosing a number here between four and seven, or just whichever number resonates with you today. We'll inhale through the nose to the count of that number. Holding at the top of our inhalation just for a pause, or you can retain your breath for as long as you like. And then on the exhales, we'll release to that same count, pausing at the bottom of the exhalation. Again, using breath retention here if you'd like. Repeating at your own pace. Using the breath here to relax the nervous system. breath is a beautiful tool that reminds our bodies that we can we can relax out of the fight or flight that we seem to constantly be in there's no need to fear here as we sit peacefully with our breath
inhalation. We'll take a cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale and exhale, let it go. We'll begin our practice here from our easy seated pose. We'll place the hands on the earth in front of us as we inhale, lengthen the spine. On your exhale, gently walking our hands forward as we hinge at the hips, try to melt the heart down towards the earth. We can lower to our elbows or to a block. Just finding our edge and our hips. And once we've settled here, we can allow the crown of the head to rest down towards the earth. Breathing into the back of the neck the back of the heart space. Maybe rocking our head side to side here. And then releasing to our center. Go ahead and lift the head. Straighten those arms and we'll walk those hands back towards the body, stacking our vertebrae here. Let's release our opposite leg out in front as we place those hands back on the ground. Take an inhale and on your exhale, begin to walk those hands forward again. Staying here on the palms or we can lower to the forearms. Lower the head down towards the earth. Again, maybe rocking the head side to side. We're staying still here with the breath and just noticing where we're holding on within our bodies. to lift the head, straighten those arms, walk those hands back towards the body, placing our hands behind us, fingers are pointing away from the body, take an inhale as we begin to arch the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, gaze up towards the sky, opening our hearts here to the gift of this day before us. choose to stay here with the breath. If you'd like more of a sensation, we can squeeze those glutes together. Start to press those hips forward, rising to the knees, to the shins. And we'll take an inhale. And on your exhale, gently lower those hips back down to the earth if we've chosen to lift them. We can place those hands back on the lap here. Let's inhale our shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, sending them down and back, beginning to make some shoulder circles here. As we move our bodies with the breath. We can reverse direction whenever you're ready shoulders forward. We'll find our stillness here, extending our legs out long in front of us, flexing our toes toward our face, trying to lengthen our hamstrings here. Think about pressing the back of the, the knees down to the earth. Staying up nice and tall here, let's place our hands down by the sides for our Dandasana staff pose. We can close the eyes here as we remember to breathe into the low belly. And remember that every pose that we're in today can come from a place of harm or non-harming. So try to move 
love today. Try not to force anything. Just relax and show your body a little bit of peace. On our next inhale, we can bring our arms up nice and slow. On our exhale, inch up the hips. Try to keep length in our spine as we melt the heart forward allowing our hands to come wherever they fall. On our inhale, think about lifting up from the rib cage, and then on your exhale, softening into that space. your last exhale, we'll lift the head here from our seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Start to walk those hands back at the legs. Think about our vertebrae stacking one over the other. Let's bend that right knee in towards the chest. Both arms are going to come back up on our inhale. And on our exhale, we're going to reach up, out, and over towards that left foot. But again, hands fall wherever they fall. Take an inhale, lift up from the rib cage. Exhale, soften. We can stay here, or if we'd like to take our bind, we can take our right arm, bring it all the way around that right knee, reaching towards uh, our back. We can take the left arm around the back. Maybe fingers bind here, or maybe they don't touch, and we just think about that energetic connection between the hands. Take another inhale. And exhale, soften the head down as close to the knee as we can. Inhale. And on our exhale, we'll release that bind. Walking our hands up that leg. And then extending our right leg out long, bending the left knee. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, up, out, and over. Same here, we can wrap that left arm around the left knee. Right arm can come behind us, reaching towards that left hand. We can interlace fingers. We can grab that right wrist with the left hand. Or we can just think about that connection between the hands as we soften the crown of the head down towards that right knee. our bind, placing those hands back on the legs, start to walk them up, stacking the vertebrae here. We can bring both feet to the earth here, about hips distance apart. Place the hands back behind us, fingers pointing towards the body, and then we can just windshield wipe with those knees side to side. So we wake up our hips a little bit. like we can bring our feet uh, about mass distance. Maybe that helps us lower the knees down to the earth a little bit more. And then we'll come back to center, start to sit up here nice and tall. Bring the soles of the feet together and let those knees fall out wide. So our legs are in a diamond shape here. We can hold on to the ankles as we inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, keep that length in the spine as we melt the heart forward. The forehead can come on or just towards our heels. And we can 
bring the hands in prayer at the tops of the feet for our full expression of Tarasana, Goddess of Protection Pose. Again, letting the crown of the head rest down towards the earth to release the neck here as we focus on our breath. After your last exhale, begin to lift the head, slowly coming up to our seated position. Let's bring the soles of the feet in closer to the pelvis, maybe about a foot's distance away from the body. We can grab to, onto the tops of the feet to open them up like we're opening a book. And that's just gonna send our knees down a little closer to the earth here. On your inhale, lift up from the crown of the head, trying to send our breath all the way up the spinal column about sending our breath between each vertebrae making us a little taller and exhale keep that length as we soften into our space with every inhale sending more breath up that spinal column with every exhale just relaxing if you'd like to take your elbows on the inside of the legs maybe send those knees down a little closer to the earth And using the breath here, sending it into our inner thighs, using the breath to tell our bodies that it's okay to relax, it's okay to soften. We'll slowly rise, bring the hands on the outside of the knees to bring them together. Wrapping the left forearm around the shins, let's take an inhale, bring that right arm up to the sky, reach up tall. On our exhale, twisting, right hand comes to rest on the earth behind us. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And on your exhale, see if we can twist a little bit deeper, looking over our right shoulder. your exhale we'll come back to center wrapping the right forearm around the shins take an inhale left arm comes up exhale twist to the left inhale press into the earth with that left hand to lengthen the spine fill up the belly and on your exhale twisting a little deeper looking over the left shoulder here. Let's wrap both arms around the shins. And we'll start to lift the heels so we're rising to the balls of the feet and the toes. Start to walk those toes back towards the body so we find our sits bones, we find a good balance here. And then squeezing the legs with the arms, pressing the legs into the arms. Start to lift our toes up, just finding a nice balance here. your exhale slowly releasing down let's cross at the ankles and come forward to our tabletop position finding our stacks here knees under the hips uh, wrists are under the shoulders we're going to spread our fingers out as wide as we can and press into each of the first knuckles uh, in the fingers and pressing into the heel of the hands so 
We're engaging that hasta banda or our hand lock here. On our inhale, we'll begin our cat cow flow. So lifting our tailbone, allow the belly to drop down towards the earth and start to gaze up towards the sky. On your exhale, begin to tuck that tailbone under, round the back and bring the chin towards the chest. Inhale, tailbone lifts, belly drops, forehead to sky. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back, chin to chest. Continuing this at your own pace, with your own breath. Thinking of our spine as a peaceful wave, and our breath is the wind that moves it. One more round here together. And after our exhale, we'll find our neutral spine. From here, let's extend that right foot back behind us, pressing the ball of the foot into the mat, push the back heel towards the back of the room. Staying strong in those arms as we press the earth away from us. Go ahead and bend that right knee slightly, so we'll feel that stretch a little closer towards the ankle. And we can flow back and forth between that straight leg and bent knee. Let's find our straight leg together here. On our next inhale, bring the navel in and up towards the spine, engaging that Uddiyana Bandha. We'll take an inhale, lifting the right foot up off the earth. Trying to get the knees straight, toes facing down, hips parallel or square to the mat. Finding your breath. Keeping that core engaged. We can stay here or extend left arm long. So we'll bring the right leg out to the side about 90 degrees. Left arm's gonna come out to the side 90 degrees as well. Inhale slowly back to center. Exhale out to the side. Nice and slow, inhale back to center. Exhale. Inhale. And this time on our exhale, we'll release everything down to the mat. Maybe give your shoulders a little bit of a shake here. Then we'll come back to our stack position, extending left leg behind us. So maybe now our heart rate has increased a little bit. Let's try to slow down the breath so that our heart also calms down here. Bend that knee, stretching the soleus. Or feel free to flow between those two options. Finding our straight leg. Again, engaging the Uddiyana Bandha by bringing that navel in and up. Let's take an inhale, left foot up off the earth. Here with the breath or extend right arm long. We can stay here or we can take an inhale. On our exhale, bring that right arm out 90 degrees, left leg comes out 90 degrees. Inhale back to center, nice and slow. Exhale to the side. 
Inhale to center. Exhale out. Inhale. And exhale, release everything to the mat. From here, keep those hips stacked over the knees. Let's slowly start to walk those arms out long in front of us, melting either the forehead down to the earth. If we want more of a stretch, we can bring the chin down or we can bring the chest down for our puppy dog pose. If the forehead is down on the mat, I like to bring the palms together here and then release the prayer behind the head to stretch those triceps. After your last exhale, we'll release those hands back to the earth if we've chosen to lift them behind the head. Start to straighten those arms, lift the head, and walk those hands back towards the body. We'll tuck our toes under here, send our weight over the heels to stretch the plantar fascia of the feet. If this is too intense for us, we can always untuck the toes. But if we can use our breath and just breathe through that discomfort, I promise it'll be worth it. Releasing the hands on the lap here, closing the eyes and taking a moment here to slow down the breath. Remembering that this is your practice. So keeping in mind any parts of the body that might need a little extra attention today that we might just need to take a little more care of by not pushing ourselves too hard. We want to challenge ourselves, but we want to prioritize safety always. So here while we're resting with our breath, we can keep the eyes closed and we can have a soft gaze down at the earth as we repeat the mantra, first, do no harm. We can do this out loud if you'd like, or we can do this silently. Maybe using our breath to guide us, almost like a metronome. First, do no harm. slowly opening the eyes as we close them. We'll come forward to a tabletop just long enough to untuck the toes. We can pat the tops of the feet out on the mat if you like. Finding our stillness, we can begin to sit back on the heels. Place those hands behind us so that we're kind of in a reclined position here. And from here, we can slowly start to bring those knees up slightly. So just until you feel a good stretch in the front of your cat or in front of your shins and your ankles. We can stay um, in like a static hold or we can rock in and out of that. So again, making this your practice. If you'd like and we can place more weight in the hands here, we can start to um, bring those knees up a little closer towards the chest. Maybe start to pop those toes. I'm slowly releasing just into our kneeling position here. 
We can place the left hand on the earth beside of us as we inhale that right arm open to the sky. On your exhale, release the left hand down to the earth. Bend the left elbow and reach those right fingertips up and over. As we breathe, think about sending that, that breath into the arm. So inhale, pull through the fingertips. Exhale, soften a little more. After your exhale, on our next inhale, think about opening that right shoulder up to the sky, rotating that upper body, bringing our gaze up. And on our exhale, we're gonna rotate looking down. So closing that right shoulder. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. I really love the feeling of just letting gravity kind of take that arm back when we're open. And then we'll find that side stretch again. And then begin to make big shoulder circles here. Reversing direction whenever you're ready. stretch. Exhale here. Inhale. So use the core to rise tall. And exhale. Let's release that right arm down to the mat. Fingertips on the earth. Inhale. Left arm to the sky. On your exhale, we'll lower that right hand down to the earth. Bend the right elbow and pull through those left fingertips. Inhale. Taking up space. Exhale, softening into that space. After our last exhale, we'll take an inhale, open the shoulder, look up. Exhale, closing the shoulder and gazing down. Getting some rotation here in this lateral bending of the spine. We'll do one more of those. Let gravity take that arm back. Exhale, close. Finding that side bend again here and starting to make our shoulder circles. direction whenever you're ready. And after your last circle, we'll find our side stretch. Take an inhale, pull through the fingertips. Exhale, relax. Use the core again to inhale, rise tall. And exhale, release, left hand comes to the earth here. We'll start to bring those hands forward again, coming into our tabletop position. Let's tuck our toes under. Make sure all 10 toes are tucked. We'll set the hips back towards the heels and then pressing into the earth to rise tall through that tailbone or our downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Starting to walk those feet out here one at a time. Again, we want to keep those fingers spread out. 
Pressing into the first knuckle and the heels and the hands. And then finding our static downward facing dog here. Finding our flat back first. So let's take an inhale, lift the heels. Send that tailbone up to the, high, to the sky as high as you can. And then on our exhale, let's bend those knees. Think about melting the heart down towards our upper thighs. So nice flat back here. We can stay here with the knees bent, heels off the earth. Or we can slowly start to release those heels down to the ground. Maybe closing the eyes here and finding your breath. If this is uncomfortable for us, we can lower it down to the forearms. Maybe coming into a dolphin pose. We can lower back to our quadruped hands and knees, or we can come into our child's pose. Another pose that is a good modification for a downward facing dog is our uh, forward fold. So standing with the feet hips distance or wider. And then we can keep a slight bend in the knees here and just let our upper body hang heavy over the lower. And we'll still work on lengthening our hamstrings here. On your next inhale, bend the knees up between the hands. On our exhale, we'll walk or hop to the top of the mat, finding that forward fold. On our inhale, straighten the legs, maybe bring our hands to the shins, finding our Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. And on your exhale, release, forward fold. Next inhale, reverse swan dive, our arms out to the sides, pressing into the heels to rise tall. Palms come together above the head and exhale to the heart space. Taking a cleansing breath here into the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, pray the sky, reach up. Exhale, bowing forward to the earth, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. On your exhale, plant the palms on the earth, stepping on back to our downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank position. On our exhale, lower the knees down, our chest, and then the chin. Inhale, press the pelvis down into the mat. Start to lift the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together for Cobra Bhujangasana. On your exhale, tuck the, tail, uh, the toes under, send the hips back towards the heels, and we'll extend those legs, coming back into our downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look between the hands. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive those arms, rising tall. Exhale to the heart space. Cleansing breath here. releasing our hands down by the sides, finding our Tadasana pose, our mountain pose, bringing the palms to face forward. Our feet can be together or we can um, bring them hips distance apart, whatever you're comfortable with. And think about pressing down into the earth through those feet, engaging our Padavanda, our foot lock. Sending that energy up into the body, about tucking our tailbone under here slightly to engage the core, bring the navel in and up. Inhaling energy up from the earth through the body. On your exhale, sending that energy out through the fingertips and out through the crown of the head. So nice active pose here, keeping the knees slightly bent and finding your breath. Uh, 
out to your last exhale. Bring the palms back in prayer at the heart space. Inhale, prayer to sky, reach up. Exhale, bowing forward to the earth, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms on the earth, step it on the back to downward facing dog. Inhale, rolling forward to a plank position. So hands under the shoulders. On your exhale, lower knees, chest, then chin. Inhale, press the pelvis down, lift the heart up. Exhale, coming back into our down dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, inhale. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Try to keep that back straight. Palms come together. Exhale to the heart space. Taking a cleansing breath. <sighs> Releasing the hands down by the sides. Finding our mountain pose. After your exhale, inhale both arms up to the sky. On our exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, sinking our hips down into our chair pose. Tailbone is tucked under slightly here. Weight is in the heels, so we should be able to lift those toes. Take an inhale here. And on your exhale, we'll release down to four full Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. On our exhale, we'll place the palms on the earth. Step the left foot back. Our left foot is planted 45 degrees. Take an inhale, rise tall. Bring those arms up to the sky, warrior one. Exhale, release, hands down to frame that front foot. Step the right foot back to meet the left for our down dog. Inhale, bring that left foot forward. So ankle under the knee, right foot plants down 45 degrees. Lift the heart here. Take an inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, release down to the earth. Step the left foot back to meet the right, down dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, inhale. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. On your inhale, sweep those arms forward, tuck the tailbone under, Utkatasana, chair pose. Hold, exhale. Hold, inhale. And exhale, straighten those legs, bring the arms down to the sides, cleansing breath here. <sighs> inhale, arms to sky, reach up. Exhale, Utkatasana. Hold, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms on the earth. Step that right foot back. Foot's planted 45 degrees. Lift the heart here using our fingertips. Take an inhale, bring those arms up. Warrior one. Nice long inhale. And exhale, release. Both hands come down to the earth. Step that left foot back to meet the right. Down dog. Inhale, right foot comes forward. Back foot plants down. Inhale, use that core to bring those arms up. And exhale, release down. Bring the right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look between the hands. Exhale, walk or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep those arms forward, tuck the tailbone under. Hold on your exhale. Hold, inhale. Exhale, extend the legs. Bring those arms down to the sides, finding your mountain pose. Take another cleansing breath here. <sighs> Bring our hands at the heart center here. We can find our um, mudra by bringing the fingers to interlace, um, keeping the thumbs and index fingers extended and together. 
Take an inhale, bringing our Kali Mudra up. On our exhale, press into the left foot. We'll start to slowly lean over to the right. Inhale, slowly back up to center. And exhale, over to the left. Press into that right foot. Inhale up. Exhale to the heart. We'll take a grounding breath here in and out through the nose as we inhale gratitude for ourselves and exhale, send that gratitude out for others. Releasing hands behind the back here. We can either just rest the back of the hands on the small of the back. We can grab the elbows or we can interlace fingers behind us. We'll take an inhale, start to slowly arch the back, look up. And on your exhale, bend the knees, hinge of the hips, melt that heart forward. Crown of the head rests down towards the earth. Our arms can stay on the back, or we can press those arms forward. Option here to keep those knees bent or to straighten the legs. Or do we Kanasana double ankle pose? inhale and on our exhale we'll release those hands down towards the feet finding that bend in the knees and then bringing the feet hips distance or wider if they're not already we'll take our two peace fingers here and wrap them around the big toes if you feel comfortable doing so or we can do one at a time if you'd like on your inhale start to straighten the legs bring that back halfway on our exhale, we'll bend the knees, bend the elbows, try to pull the upper body towards the lower. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, folding. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Do that one more time. And after your exhale, we'll release both hands to the earth and we'll step our feet back to our downward facing dog. On our next inhale, let's come forward to our plank position. We can stay here in our full plank, or we can lower it down to the knees. Whatever is challenging for you today, we can also lower to the forearms with the legs straightened behind us. Whichever option you've chosen, we'll start to put our weight into our right side, flipping over onto the right side of those feet, Stacking shoulder over the wrist, we'll take an inhale, bring that left arm up to the sky for a side plank. You can play around with that left leg, we can lift it off the right. We're down on the elbow, it'll look like this. Just think about trying to press those hips up to the sky. We'll take one more inhale. And exhale, release back down to our plank. On your next inhale, switching over to the left side, bring that right arm up to the sky. You can take a bind by bringing it behind the body. We can offset those feet on the earth. We can lift that right leg. Just finding a variation that works for you here. Pressing our hips up. Take an inhale. And then exhale, release back to our plank pose. Inhale. Exhale back into our downward facing dog.
On our next inhale, extend that right foot up to the sky. Try to keep that knee straight so it doesn't matter how high or how low it is off the ground. Toes are facing down. We'll take an inhale. On our exhale, we'll pitch forward to three-legged plank. Inhale back to three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, forward to plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. This time on our exhale, bend that right knee. Bring that right foot close to the right thumb. We can pick that foot up and move it if we need to. We're gonna keep on the ball of that back foot. Make sure our right ankle stacked below the right knee. Lift the heart here, rising to the fingertips. And then use that core to inhale, arms to sky for our high or crescent lunge. So here, think about tucking our tailbone under, squeezing the thighs together, reaching up as high as we can to the sky, and then relaxing the shoulders down and back away from the ears so we're not crunching. Take an inhale. On our exhale, we'll bring those arms down to the side, start to bring the heart forward towards that right knee. Inhale, slowly rise, arms come back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, up. And this time on our exhale, we'll plant that back foot down 90 degrees and bring those arms out to the sides for our warrior two, Vira Bajrasana to be. Inhale, press into the outside of that left foot. On your exhale, see if we can bend that right knee a little closer towards that right pinky toe. Pulling wrists in opposite directions, looking over our right fingertips, finding our breath, noticing if it's shallow in the chest. If so, try to send it on down to the belly. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend the front knee again. Reaching out with that right hand, put the palm up, and then bring that right arm up and over, letting the left hand slide down the left leg. Our reverse, or our peaceful warrior. We're finding peace with our body here. Trying to move with love, with intention. Doing no harm to ourselves or to others here. Next inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale here. Inhale, straighten that front leg. On our exhale, we'll shift the weight of the hips back, reach forward with the right hand, and then release that right hand either down to our leg, to a block if we have one accessible, and down to the earth. Left arm extends straight up to the sky for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Inhale, press into both feet equally. Bring the upper body up. Exhale, bend the front knee, warrior two. Bring our gaze from over the right fingertips. Let's look forward. Coming into our eagle arms here. The right leg is forward. We'll bring the right arm underneath the left. <laughs> Grabbing onto the back of the shoulders here. We can bring the back of the hands together or 
wrap those forearms around one another, bringing the palms together, elbows come up to shoulder height. Take an inhale, press into the outside of the left foot. Exhale, try to bend that right knee a little deeper. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Those arms come back to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, let's cartwheel our hands down to the earth. Pivot on the ball of the back foot so we're in our low lunge here. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring that right foot back to meet the left. Plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, or we can exhale, pitch forward on the toes. Lower the elbows 90 degrees. Now flip those feet. Press the heart up. Press those hips down for our upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips up high for downward facing dog. Next inhale, extend that left foot high. Inhale. Exhale, pitch forward, three-legged plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, forward to plank. Inhale. Last one, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, gently bring that left foot forward to meet that left thumb. Stay on the ball of that right foot. Lift the heart here. Take an inhale, bring those arms up to high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, bring those arms down. Bring the heart forward. Inhale up. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms come up. On your exhale, plant the right foot down 90 degrees. Arms come out to the sides for warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend that front knee again. Left palm comes up. Bring that left arm up and over. Right hand slides down that right leg for reverse warrior. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, shift the weight of the hips back, reach that left arm forward. And then exhale, release, left arm comes down, right arm comes up for triangle pose. Next inhale, cross into both feet equally. We'll start to rise the upper body. On your exhale, bending that left knee again into our warrior two pose. Gaze face forward here. Left leg is out front, so let's bring our left arm under the right. Again, holding on to the shoulders. Back of the hands come together or wrapping those forearms so palms are together. Also an option to interlace the fingers here if you like. Bringing those elbows up. Finding those eagle arms and finding your breath. Take 
and inhale here. And on our exhale, release both arms to warrior two position. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down to frame the front foot. Coming onto the ball of that back foot for low lunge, take an inhale. On your exhale, send that left foot back to meet the right for plank pose. Exhale, lowering knees, chest and chin. We're pitching forward and lowering elbows 90 for chaturanga. Inhale, lift the head and the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, roll forward to our plank position. On your exhale, slowly lowering all the way down to the ground. Bring your arms behind us, palms facing up. On our inhale, squeeze the glutes together, zipper the legs up together. Lift those hands, lift the heart for a locust pose. <laughs> another inhale and exhale release coming onto either cheek here coming back to our center let's bring our arms up in front of us our thumbs can be facing up. Zipper our legs together. And on your inhale, squeeze those glutes. Lift the legs. Try to lift the thighs. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift the arms and lift the heart for Superman pose. Take an inhale. On your exhale, releasing, resting opposite cheek to mat. Or we can come to our uh, crocodile pose, alligator pose. I can't remember which one. We'll stack the forearms here if you'd like. Let the forehead rest on our arms. Crocodile pose, I'm 90% sure. And then lifting the head, we'll bring the left forearm down on the earth in front of us so that the arm is parallel to the short edge of the mat here. We'll bend our right knee. If we have um, a belt or something, we can wrap around that foot. Start to try to bring it back towards the body a little bit more, or we can reach back and grab those toes or the foot and try to press our foot down as close to the earth as we can. Releasing that right foot down to the earth, switching sides, bring that right arm in front of us, bending the left foot. We can reach back just towards the foot just to stretch the shoulder, or again, we can grab that foot and bring it closer to the body. Releasing the left foot down, bring hands on either side of the chest, tugging the toes under, we press up, through our cobra, through our tabletop. <clears throat> and then keeping the knees together, big toes together, or we can send the knees out wide as we sink those hips back towards the heels. Coming into your expression of child's pose, Balasana. If you'd like, our arms can be extended long in front of us. The forehead can rest on the earth or on a block. We can stack the forearms here to rest the forehead. Or we can stack fists or we can reach back towards the feet. 
and let the forehead rest on the earth or on our block here. And again, in this pose, if you'd like to come back to that mantra, first, do no harm. And slowly rising from our child's pose, coming out onto our bottoms here. Our feet can come to the earth about hips distance apart. Our arms can rest behind us uh, for support as we slowly lower onto our backs, or we can extend our arms long and use the core to think about rolling down one vertebrae at a time as slowly as we can. Once we're on our backs here, we can bring our arms out on the earth in a letter T shape, or we can bend the elbows making goal posts or cactus arms. Bend our knees one at a time in towards the chest, so our knees are about 90 degrees, our hips are about 90 degrees. We'll take an inhale here. And on your exhale, slowly lower those knees over to the right side. So our knees can hover. We wanna keep that left shoulder blade planted, so if you release your knees down to the earth and that shoulder blade comes up, try to keep your core engaged to keep those knees hovering. And then perhaps you can slowly relax into releasing those knees down. If it feels okay from here, look over the left shoulder. Maybe your right hand comes to the left knee. Give yourself a little bit more of a stretch. And bring our gaze back up to the sky, using the core to bring the knees up to center. Inhale, and on your exhale, slowly release over to the left side. Keep your right shoulder blade down, looking over the right shoulder. Maybe slowly releasing those knees down. Left hand to right knee, or just whatever feels good. back up, releasing that left hand, using the core to bring our knees back up to center here. Let's release our feet down on the earth and then using our hands to reach down to make sure we can touch the heels, bringing our, our uh, feet about hips distance apart. From here, let's press into the earth through the feet. Slowly start to roll that tailbone up off the earth, bringing one vertebrae up at a time, coming into our bridge pose. Inhale, lift the heels off the earth. On your exhale, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. And bringing those heels back down. <clears throat> From here, keeping our hands where they're at, let's extend one leg at a time to the sky. Flexing our toes back towards the face. Think about pressing those heels up to the sky for our Viparita Karani, imaginary legs up the wall.
After your last exhale, we'll bend our knees, bring them in towards the chest, reach up to grab the outside of the feet with the hands, coming into our happy baby pose, letting our upper body here do all the work as we pull our knees in as close to the rib cage as we can. We can stay still with the breath. If our baby would like to rock, we can rock side to side. Finding our stillness, let's bring the soles of the feet together and then gently release them down on the earth. So our knees are still wide here for our Supta Baddha Konasana. Our hands can rest on the inner thighs to give our hips more of an opening sensation. Or if you'd like, we can let the, the right hand rest on the diaphragm. The left hand can rest on the heart. Maybe close the eyes here. And just allow yourself this moment to connect to the here and now. So we notice the rise and fall of our breath. Maybe we can feel just a faint heartbeat here. I invite you all to stay here if you'd like for your expression of Shavasana, our final relaxation pose. If you'd like, you can bend the knees and just place the feet on the earth. If you have any low back issues, sometimes this feels uh, better. We can extend our legs long, as wide or maybe wider than the mat, and just let our feet fall open to the side. Or if you'd like to practice an inversion for your Shavasana, maybe just finding a wall in your house that you can move your mat up to and place the legs up the wall. And just allow that uh, blood flow to come back up to the heart and the lungs and the brain that gravity tends to fight against. Once we've gotten our lower body situated, we'll squeeze our shoulder blades up underneath of us to open up the heart space. We can allow the back of the hands to rest on the earth, palms are open to receive, or just placing those hands anywhere on the body that you're comfortable with. Once you've found a position that resonates with you, We'll close the eyes and take our cleansing breath here into the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. Let it go. <sighs> we move the body to quiet the mind. We've done all the work, everything that needs to be done. And we have earned this time here to ourselves for silence and for stillness and for peace. I'm not trying to control the breath, but just letting it naturally rise and fall. Allow your body to breathe. Allow yourself to become heavy, letting the earth accept your physical and your mental weight.
to deepen your breath. Bring awareness back into your physical body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Moving that energy into our wrists and our ankles. And shaking our head side to side against the mat. And we'll come to stillness, bending our knees, placing our feet on the earth, and rocking our knees side to side to massage our hips and our low back. back to our center, bending the knees up into the chest, reach out to wrap the forearms around the shins, bring the forehead up to meet the knees, give yourself a big hug, thanking yourself for coming to your mat today, for practicing self-love. We'll release down to the earth, extending our legs long, Pointing our toes towards the front of the room, bringing our arms overhead, finding our full body stretch. Inhale, pull the wrists and the ankles in opposite directions, taking up as much space as you possibly can. Take another big inhale, and on your exhale, release, and we'll roll over onto either side. That you would like to roll over onto. So maybe our head just rests on our bicep of one arm. We bring that opposite hand to rest on the earth in front of us. As we take this moment here in gratitude for our bodies, for our minds, and for our spirits for carrying us through our practice today. Acknowledging and appreciating that it took discipline to come to our mat. We could be doing anything else or nothing at all with ourselves. And as always, finding gratitude here for Mother Earth for all of her support, all of her nourishment, and all of the beauty that she supplies us with on a daily basis. If you would like to use this time to send out any additional gratitude and thanks to a person, a place, a thing, or just anything that your heart is calling you to do, doing so now. Whenever you're ready, using our arms here to press up into our Sukhasana, our easy seated pose. We're going to begin our practice, just letting those hands rest in the lap here, keeping the eyes closed if you'd like, grounding down through the sits bones, rising up through the crown of the head, creating space within the bodies for our breath as we inhale that which sustains us and exhale that which no longer serves us. to reflect on the question, can you take this feeling of love and peace with you off of the mat? 
and you remember it to move with nonviolence when you're cut off in traffic or when you're around cranky loved ones. Nonviolence is a state of mind, and the true practice of yoga happens off the mat, not on it. here to acknowledge the beauty and the light that is within us, and to acknowledge that same beauty and light that is all around us. And as we rise through our yoga practice, may our bodies be more alive, our minds more clear, and our hearts more compassionate. The light in me sees and loves 